Hey there, Aziz. So let's run through your most recent submissions. Now, my first and most obvious point is that you wrote less than the word count that is necessary here. Um, I, I have stressed before, and um, I will say again, that it's absolutely imperative that we write at least 250 words. Otherwise, we cannot score a band six in the task response category because we have failed to respond to every part of the question. So in future, let's make sure that we write over 250 words, but let's do that in a meaningful way. So let's have a look at see, and see if we can expand some of your points. So raising a child has become a controversial issue. While some people think that activities and games are better for Okay. Here I would merge this into one sentence. but a much greater level of brain activity than what? What are we comparing it to? So if we were going to fully discuss this point, also we could here use thus. Oh, so we're comparing video games and reading. Okay, so I think we need to make this this slightly um, clearer. And I think the fault lies here. in the frontal lobe as well. Okay, so on the one hand you agree that books are crucial but on the other hand, you do see the benefit of interactive games. So I'm, I'll tell you what.
maybe in this one we could have gone on to talk about the value of imagination because if you're saying that books are crucial for a child's education then maybe we could have gone a little bit further linking the benefits for imagination to education and to um, I suppose academic potential something along those lines but let's make it slightly more specific practical skills on the other hand can be improved much faster with interactive games Don't use kids, it's informal. Again, we need to be a bit more precise here. Physical activities are better for their practical skills. Are we still under the word count? No, we've gone over now. So having just fleshed out the answer a little bit, I know there were long silences in this correction, but I was thinking, um, having just fleshed out your answer a little bit, we've hit the word count and we've created a well-reasoned response. So let's have a look at your next piece. So with this question, uh, advantages, disadvantages, security cameras in public streets, Freedom or security? So this is not about putting more cameras on the streets. This is about whether freedom or security are, in, are impacted more. It would be better to expand this point slightly here, but we could just say something like This is a generic sentence, but what we should do is include a brief outline of the ideas we will use in the essay and be a bit more specific this essay is not that this comma is not necessary so again we shouldn't really be talking about what the people think we're talking about the advantages and disadvantages so let's start from here Let's say that this is an extreme example. It could even lead to paranoia.
overlooked, not overseen. Robbery rates have decreased. Okay, so your work is actually improving dramatically. Um, now, once we've got this word count issue sorted, um, by expanding your points correctly and as fully as possible, I think we uh, will be producing some very high scoring writing indeed. Um, what I'll do is I'll send you over a list, three lists even, of the most common um, academic vocabulary to use. It'd be helpful to study these. Uh, but I'll send this over to you now, Aziz. Have a great day. Goodbye for now.